Hi there, and welcome to Miscellaneous Medicine. So what Miscellaneous Medicine is going to be is a series of videos that kind of tell you fun and random ass medical facts because I am really bored and I think this is one way to keep me sane while in medical school. And I think it's fun to share what I learned to the world, um, to whoever's watching, probably no one's watching, but hey, you stumble upon this video, so why not watch the whole thing and share it? Actually, don't share it. I, I don't know how, I, I think I'll just be making a couple videos and probably stop. Anyway, so miscellaneous medicine, let's get down to business. So what I first want to talk about for today's topic is UTIs, urinary tract infections. So I personally never had a urinary tract infection, but I'm sure it's, you, maybe you, you probably did, I don't know, you probably know someone who did, maybe your mom, your dad, your sister, brother, whatever, it's very common. And so, and based on the symptoms, again, I've never had UTIs, but it sounds pretty awful because you get burning, a burning sort of sensation with urination, you get increases in frequency of urination, you get some weird changes in your urine, it can turn all sorts of colors, and it smells nasty. Obviously, for those of you who have had UTIs, you know it's not fun. Um, UTIs, as you all know, is caused by bacteria. It's as simple as that. It's caused by bacteria colonizing in your urinary tract and leading to a lot of um, uncomfortable symptoms through like inflammation, okay? The most common cause of UTIs is actually E. coli. That's right, E. coli. You guys, I'm sure have all heard about E. coli. It always ends up in the news. Like most recently, apparently, there was an outbreak of E. coli in Chipotle. When you guys think about E. coli, I'm sure you guys are all very familiar with it being a bacteria that lives in your gut. E. coli colonizes in your GI tract and it actually is um, what we call commensal bacteria. It's bacteria that lives inside of you and it's normal for it to be there. In fact, it's actually great that it's there. It really helps with a lot of um, aspects of your body, your metabolism, all of that kind of stuff, okay? It's important for it to be there and it's there to help you. What gets kind of tricky is that when these types of commensal bacteria is found in different places in your body where they're not supposed to be. So in the case of a UTI, um, that's E. coli, usually found in the gut, but it ends up in your urinary tract and that's where the problem is. E. coli is in our gut, right? How in the world does it get in our, into our urinary tract? It's really due to self-inoculation. What that means is when you take a dump and you're ready to wipe that nasty ass. If you wipe the wrong way, meaning if you wipe towards your pee pee hole, your urethra, you really do run the risk of transferring E. coli into your urinary tract and boom, you've got yourself a nice UTI. Next time you wipe, you better wipe the opposite way of your pee pee hole. Women are actually more likely to get UTIs because we have a shorter urethra and so it's easier for bacteria to get in there, okay? And so E. coli can cause cystitis, which is not a fancy word for UTIs, but it can also cause kidney inflammation, um, which is called pyelonephritis. If E. coli gets far enough, it can go past your bladder, can go past your um, ureters, and then go all the way into your kidneys, and boom, that's probably the worst case of uh, prolonged bacteria infection in your urinary tract, okay? That's not good. That's it. Takeaway message from this video is don't wipe the wrong way unless you want a UTI. Yeah, so that's it. Thanks for watching and catch you later.